depending where you live, what country you live in, or what part of the country you live in, a lot of the mask requirements and lockdowns have now been lifted, but one thing that's gonna be very important moving forward to keep all of the infection numbers low is gonna be frequent and proper hand washing, and that includes on the go. So I brought back an idea that I used to use all the time back in the day. When I used to have a service company, I would build these really inexpensive but very effective hand washing stations for every single one of my trucks because in my opinion washing your hands on the go is much safer better and definitely more satisfying than using any hand sanitizer i'm going to show you how good it is and i'm going to show you how to build it right now and i'm going to start off by showing you all of our parts the first thing we're going to need is a bucket and this is a five gallon bucket, food safe container. The reason I get a food safe container is because if you fill this with drinkable water, then if you choose to take a drink from this, it's totally safe and there's no, there's no chemical contamination from the plastic. And that's why I choose it this way so we have options. But you can use a regular five gallon bucket. Next thing is gonna be the gamma seal lid. And I'm gonna put a list in the description below of all the materials. So people can easily buy them online. And you can see this fits a three and a half to a seven gallon bucket. So a three and a half gallon bucket is the same opening size, just a little bit shorter in case you wanna put it in the trunk of your car or something. And the way that this works is this top just kind of clips on here, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. And then you can open it up here and refill it. And it has a rubber seal. So in case it, it like turns over in your trunk or something, it doesn't spill. So that's it for our tank. The next thing we need is this little sample valve. It has a half inch NPT thread on one side and the actual spigot on the other side. And I choose the one that's kind of just, you know, the sample valve has no threads because I'm gonna put a tube on there. There's a lot of variations of this. You can get this with, you know, three quarter threads or garden hose threads and do whatever you want, depending on where you're gonna use this. I'm just giving you the idea and the material list. So next thing we're gonna need is a 5 8 ID vinyl tube and in my case again this is 5 8 because this just fits like so right over the mouth of the sample valve and this is just what's always worked best for me so that brings me to the next piece which is going to be this brass pipe nut half inch fip or npt that's going to fit right on there and then last but not least we have our o-ring which is going to seal the valve to the bucket and uh, that's it. So I'll show you how this is all put together. And what I do is I kind of align the handle to the center of where I'm gonna drill the hole for the valve. And the reason I do that is because once you have the little pipe connected, I usually flop it up and put it inside this handle. So when you're driving or whatever, it doesn't come out and uh, I don't know, it just works better. So I put this like, not right on the bottom. I give it a little bit of uh, meat so the O-ring can seal. And then I just take kind of a guess you can measure it, but I think it's about, looks like it's about an inch or so. You can figure out how to drill it, but I drill it to where it fits, little by little, and that's about it right there. And then I drill it from the inside, just to get that excess plastic out of there very lightly. See, cut it right out. Nice and clean, look at that, nice clean hole. And then what I do is I don't put the O-ring on the outside, and I'm sure there's a lot of different ways you can do this, but basically I just kind of press it and twist it, keep on pressing it and twisting it. And it kind of like threads in there really nice, nice and tight. And then I position it so it's about 90 degrees from the bottom, just right there flat. It kind of, you know, gives you some clearance. So then on the inside, what I do is I just get our O-ring. I get that O-ring on just like that. And then I get our little brass nut. And these brass nuts, and again, this is why I'm going to give you some skew numbers below. It has this little, this little recess. I found that when we use this nut with this side toward the o-ring it kind of presses the o-ring into the threads of the valve and that seals the whole thing up 
All right, so the valve's in there, it's all tight. The O-ring's pressed against the valve threads and the bucket. Now it's time to put the lid, and the way this works is, the way I do it, I just get the actual ring that fits in there, and it fits in really tight. It snaps in there, and you just kind of have to... And that's it, that's super tight. I don't really know how you would get that off if that would come off, but in my experience, those fit really well. After that, that's it. The top goes on just like that. So let's fill it with water and see if it works. I'm just gonna rinse it out real quick. Fill it up with water. Put the top on, I rinsed everything off. All right, let's go see if it works. This one's full, let's see how this works. So the last thing I have to do to finish this off is you just get your clear vinyl hose, press it all the way on there. And the reason that I have this length, and this is about 14 inches, you can customize it to your application depending what car you're putting it in. I've even left this tube really long and put it in the trunk of my car, but the reason for this is because when it's not being used, you just put it away just like this when you're driving and it doesn't come down and it works surprisingly well. Now, let me just get some soap and see how it works. I know that wasn't 20 seconds, but for the video's sake, I'm going to stop it right here and uh, yeah, and that's it. My hands are clean. This is really what I prefer. This is the most comfortable for me when I go into a Home Depot or Walmart or whatever, instead of using their restrooms or if their restrooms are closed, I would much just rather use my own water, my own soap, and my own car. And that's basically why I did this in the first place. So hopefully you built one of these. Hopefully this helped you out. And uh, as you see, it's really simple and really effective. So thanks for watching. This is my personal channel and this is where I post stuff like this. So if you like this kind of stuff, don't forget to subscribe. Tell me what you think in the comments below. See you next time.